Need to go and get Archie up in a minute. Give him a pep talk before school. <laughs> Thanks. Reassure him that he's not in the wrong. Yeah. Jimmy is. Well, he shouldn't have reacted the way he did. But Archie shouldn't have hit Angelica. Yeah, but that kid's fight. I mean, it, it happens. Hey, shall I uh, go and see if he's up? Would you? Yeah, sure. Ta. I just wish I knew what was going on in his head. Ah, he's still trying to settle in here. He's lost his mother. Now, ah, that's a lot of stress for a young child to cope with. Yeah, you're right. He's got an excuse. But Jimmy, he was totally out of order. And it's not the first time. You know, it proves that he caused that bruise. Mm, it looks like it. I can't believe that I let him get away with it. He's not in his room. What? Is he hiding? He does that sometimes under the bed. No, I checked. He's gone. No, he can't be. I'll check in here. You... Archie! Oh. I need to go to the shop. I'm running out loads of stuff. Right, yeah. Hang on, I've just made you this. I haven't got time, sorry. What's the rush? And, and how long are you going to keep sleeping on the sofa? I'll see you later. Stop him coming into the surgery, though, can I? He had an appointment. It was harassment. Well, not according to Liam and Manfrey. I got a warning because of the way I talked to him. I was angry because I thought he was stalking me, but I came across as paranoid. Yeah, well, that's what he's done to you. He's got to stop. Morning. <gasps> oh, morning. Hey, happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> I hate advertising, but the twins insisted they wear it all day, so. <laughs> well, have a good one. Thank you. Listen, I'm. Uh... I'm working later, you know, after panto rehearsal and kids' birthday tea. So, maybe pop in, could buy me a drink. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not sure that's a good idea. No. Well, just a thought, you know. <sighs> I think somebody's got a bit of a crush. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm telling you. Not again. What's wrong with you? Leave us alone. I'm just going for a walk. Yeah, well, I told you, I'm not scared of you. I have to try harder than one. Is that a threat? Luke. Just leave it. Your Bob's still working on the panto. I hope he's writing a meaty part for me. <laughs> Farmer Christmas's comedy sidekick, perhaps. Right. Uh, hey, Farmer Christmas's ugly sisters are going to make an appearance. You could play one of them. Sorry, uh... You calling me ugly? No, 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 not at all. No, it's just all a bit of fun. I know normally the sisters are played by men, but we're not sticklers for convention. Oh, not interested. Thanks, though. Ah. Uh, Ow. Forget it. Should we go Christmas shopping today? Don't you have to work? The last thing I need is to be stuck in that vet's with Vanessa. I thought she knew me. You know, we've been best mates for, like, ever. Mm. Loyalty appears to be in short supply at the moment. She should have had my back, though. I mean, there's no actual proof that it was me that left that gate open. It could have been anyone. Indeed. Guess we'll never know, will we? Has, uh, anyone seen Archie? Not this morning. He's run away. What? Well, I'll spread the word, get people looking. Thanks. Look, I'm sure he'll be fine. Let me know when you find him. Yeah. Any sign? He's not at the Dingles or at Eric's. I've searched the whole garden. I mean, where are the police? They're on their way. Dottie, we won't be a second. Sorry I missed your call. You know what it's like in the morning. It's such a rush. Just wondered if Archie wanted to lift to school. He's run away. Hey, where's he gone? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be going off my head. I mean, what if he's got on a bus or just got lost walking? I mean, he doesn't even know his way around here. Look, I'll get everybody out searching barns and sheds, OK? Yeah, someone will spot him. You know, you see a little boy on their own, you don't ignore that. It will be fine. He could have been gone all night and he's freezing. I, I can out walk. Oh, sweetheart. Look, I know you're worried, but it's best you go to school. I don't want to. Dad, would you mind dropping him off and taking Dottie to nursery? Of course I will. Come on. Yeah, I'll let you know when we find him, all right? I promise. Yeah. I saw Graham and Rona earlier. She didn't look happy. Really? What a shame. So you're going to tell me what's next or not? 
No. I don't appreciate being kept in the dark. It'd be a nice surprise. Just wait and see. Has that gravel arrived yet? Yeah, it's on its way. It needs laying today. I want this place up and running ASAP. Yeah, it'll come. I don't want empty promises. Chase them up. If you can't do this one simple thing, what use are you? Liv, perhaps you'd be interested in the panto. Oh, no, thanks. Yeah, no, we've not got many young people involved yet. Well, not any, actually, so at least think about it, eh? Yeah, sure. Hey, really? <laughs> no. I um, found something this morning down the side of the sofa. A leaflet about sleeping better. Yeah, well, um, I went to the doctors. I am. Um, I'm glad you're getting help. I think sleeping in your own bed might make a difference, though. Don't make a big deal out of it. I'm not. I can hear you walking around at night. Um, I don't want to be embarrassed about it. Hey, look at you, blooming. Uh, not long now. I'm uh, visiting the maternity ward tomorrow, just for a look around. Don't let all the screaming put you off. <laughs> just kidding. Well, it's not funny, Rodney. I'm scared. I'm going to be in agony. Oh, don't believe all that. I was there when Bernice was born. Well, not actually in the room. I was outside waiting, but well, she just popped out. No trouble. Oh, did she really? Yeah, Diane was smiling. It was a breeze. Don't worry about anything. Well, I'm trying not to let anything stress me out. I'm not even seeing Wendy every day. Oh, it can't be easy. There's nothing I can do about it. Unless she leaves. I can't see that happening. Well, you never know. I could have made us lunch at home. Yeah, but we're not hiding away. What can I get you? Is your son here? Luke. Why do you want him? I don't. I just want to make sure there's no more trouble. Well, maybe if you stayed out of people's way, there wouldn't be. But it's not us. He won't leave my mum alone. He keeps following her. Got better things to do with his time. Mm. His behaviour's not normal. Let's just go. See? She's scared to be here, cos that's what he's done to her. He's trying to drive us both away. Well, what's he actually done? Has he hurt you in any way? She doesn't want to listen. Let's just leave it. Have a word. Make sure he stops. Cos if he don't, the police will. Cos we'll get a restraining order. See how he likes that. Come You should have found him by now. We've got officers out all over the area. I feel like I should be doing more. You're better off here. Most of the time, kids come back home and they've no idea that everyone's been looking for them. You just said the news. Is there anything we can do? Oh, the police are out there looking for him now. Well, what are you doing here, anyway? Guilty conscience? No. Well, you should have. You're the reason he's gone. You can't blame Jimmy. He attacked Archie. What? I didn't. You didn't mention this earlier, Mr Sharma. He grabbed my son. Scared him to death. That's the reason he's run away. I can think of loads of other reasons, and Jimmy isn't one of them. Meaning? Well, he was upset about losing his mum, Jay. And having to live with his dad, who hasn't been interested in him for the past two years and wasn't exactly happy to have him dumped on him. That is not true. The kid's messed up, Jay, and you need to take a look in the mirror. Yeah, and so does Jimmy. Well, it's not the first time he's grabbed him. He left a bruise on him a few weeks ago. I can't believe you're bringing all this up again. That wasn't me, I swear. Well, the kid said it was. I, uh, I think it might be helpful to our inquiries if you and I had a little chat. Somewhere quieter. Honestly? I honestly haven't done anything. Trying to pin this on Jimmy, you know he wouldn't hurt a fly. We all saw him lose it with Archie. He was defending Angelica. Archie's a bully. I, let's not start throwing accusations around, all right? You've already done that. Come with me. Tell the police you got it wrong. No, I didn't. 
And I am not going anywhere until my son comes home. That is all I care about. Laurel, please. I thought we got past all this. You know Jimmy. He's a gentle giant. Well, yeah, well, he is to us. But if you're Archie's size, he's just a frightened little boy. Jimmy should never have touched him, Nick. Oh, I see. You're on their side. No, I just want to find Archie. You used to be my best mate. And I still am. Not anymore. <sighs> oh, it's school. Hello? What is it now? Uh, right, OK, thanks for letting me know. Um, I'm sure he's on his way home because uh, there's a family emergency, so, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Arthur's not at school. Archie! Archie! Archie, come out! Archie, come on, this isn't funny! I knew you'd be here. I bought you this. It's not poisoned. I'm glad I found you. Your dad called the police. You shouldn't have run away. You told me to. That was a joke. It wasn't funny. Yeah, it was. You're just too stupid to get it. You can come on with me, but only if you do exactly what I tell you to. All right? Hey, I've been looking for you. Gravel's been delivered. And that's interesting because... I need you to lay it for me now. I don't feel like it. Sorry. I could easily sack you. Find someone who'll actually put in a day's work. Go on, then. I might just tell Kim and whoever else is interested about your debts. Come on, mate. Mate. I need your help, all right? I have to get this done today. Please. All right, let me finish this, and it'll be five minutes. No. Cheers. I just, I think they want as many people out looking as possible. Well, I'd love to come out with you, but I can't leave Eve. Oh, no, don't worry about that. It's just if people come in, can you let them know? Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Listen, I have feelings about yesterday. Let's forget it. Oh, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? Because you're not the one being blamed for something you didn't do. I closed that gate. I don't know what you want me to say. Yeah, you've said enough. So if Rona closed it, someone else opened it. Do you know who? No. Strange, isn't it? Kim owns your farm, which means she owns you. We're tenants. You're in a pocket, and I know how she works. She can be very persuasive. I haven't even spoke to her. Hmm. So you say. But if she was behind it, I'll find out. So you've not seen Archie at all today? Why would I? I, I dropped my kids off at school and went to work. Then when Nicola called me about Archie, we both went to see if there was anything we could do. Can you explain what happened yesterday? When he hit my daughter. How did you react to that? I was upset, obviously. I, I, I rushed over. I, I was scared he was going to do it again, and then I... I, I, pulled, I pulled him off her. I see. It was a normal reaction. Any dad would do the same. Y you shouldn't make me feel like a, a criminal for it. Do you know anything about a bruise? that Mr Sharma found on his son's arm a few weeks ago. I keep saying that wasn't me. I understand that Archie told his father that it was. Then he was lying. I don't know why, but he was. And we put it behind us. We'd moved on. If it was really me, they never would have trusted me with their kids and I wouldn't blame them. I'm a dad. I've got three... Beautiful kids. I, I would never hurt them. I, I'd never hurt any kid. You must believe me. For God's sake, Arthur. Why don't you call me back? That's why I got you this phone. Sorry, Aunt Dolly. I'm not, I'm not cross. Just call me back, please. I love you. They've been everywhere. What are the police doing? They're interviewing Jimmy. What's he got to do with this? Found him. Oh! Archie! Oh, 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 thank God for that! Oh, I have been worried.
worried sick about you. We all have. Oh, don't you ever do that to me again, all right? You know I love you, don't you? Oh, and you shouldn't have left school. I have to go find him. Sorry, Mum. All right, I'll let you off this time, since you found Archie. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, you're my little hero, aren't you? Here, yeah, where do you want these? Oh, great, yeah, uh, just over there by the costumes. Okay. Whoa! Hello, Mia. Thank you. Hey, everyone, Dan's just texted. Archie's home. Ah, oh, they must be so relieved. Ah, oh. there are pins in this. Oh, sorry, I thought I'd take them all out. Well, did you make it? Yeah, well, I mean, I got it from the charity shop, then made a few adjustments. <laughs> We've all got to do our bit. Yeah, it's too small. I'm sure you didn't make it for yourself. Yeah, let me help. Is he all Farmer Christmas? Oh, uh, it, would, it would seem so. Interesting. Look, is there really any point with being here if I can't rehearse anything? Well, there must be something they could do. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, kissing scene. The what? Yeah, where, where Farmer Christmas kisses Milkmaid Molly. Uh, nah. Sorry? I oh, kissing him. It doesn't have to be a full-on snog, you know, it can just be a romantic. My best mate's fella. And yes, I know, she's miles away, but I feel like I'm cheating. It's just acting. Acting with tongues. Oh, I was not intending on doing that. Oh, good, cos I wouldn't let you. She can't do that, she's got principles. Thank you, Nayla. I'll do it, I'll be your milkmaid. What? In beneath our clothes. You said you'd be five minutes. I decided I needed another drink. You what? I was thirsty. Well, don't wind me up. You've seen that gravel out there, now go and shift it. Say please again. Yeah, look, I, I'm not in the mood for this. I need that job done today. Kim's orders. So what's it like having her pulling all the strings? She doesn't. Not how it sounds. Actually, you know what? I'm tired. I'm just gonna go and have a lie down. <laughs> don't even think about it. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> Billy, mm. Billy, get back here! What? Yeah, look, don't, don't worry, don't worry. You'll get your money. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm sorting it. You took your time. What do you want? Don't take that tone with me. Well, I'm here now, Art, so what do you want? You're after a babysitter because Liv's volunteered. As long as there's no nappies, I'm not ready for that. That is not why I called. You need to leave Wendy and Luke alone. What? They're threatening to get a restraining order out on you. Sorry, I just, I just came from my break. No, you might as well listen to this. Aaron has been hounding Wendy. You need to stop it. That family has ruined my life. And Victoria's. I don't often give you the do as your mother tells you chat, but this is what it sounds like. I don't want you going back to prison. I couldn't cope. Your mum's right. I need you. Eve needs you. Think of us. I haven't even done anything. Well, then it needs to stay like that. If you see them, turn around and walk away. Take a leaf out of Victoria's book. She's moving on with her life. She's doing her best to ignore them. Fine, I'll drop it. Honestly? Mm-hmm. Right, well, I'm sorry for the lecture, but it was worth it. I need to get back behind the bar. Liv, can you give me a hand, please? Don't worry, I'm not dropping it. Aaron, I don't know if this is the best idea. Vic, I've got this, all right? Tomorrow, I'm gonna make sure that Luke and Wendy get the message and then we'll be rid of him for good, yeah? Well, I think they went really well. Even better when we get the whole script. I wish Bob would hurry up. Yeah, me too. I need to know what part I'm playing. Mm. I'm glad I'm out of it. I think you should get him to cut the kiss, though. No. It's crucial to the plot. You don't even know what the plot is yet. And he's Benita's fiance. He shouldn't be kissing anyone. It's a panto. Happy endings. People fall in love and then they kiss each other. 
I heard Archie was back. It's brilliant news. Yeah, Arthur found him. I'm so proud. <laughs> what are you doing here? The police let him go. You were arrested? No. He should have been. He's done nothing wrong. You can't call attacking Archie nothing. Jay, don't do this in front of the children. No, you're right. Can you take him outside to play, please? You don't have to do that. No, I think it's probably best. I knew you'd take his side, Judith. Now, there's no need for that. Archie, uh, I'm glad you're back, and I'm sorry if I scared you. Look at him. You see what you've done? You've traumatised the grieving boy. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't keep apologising. None of this is your fault. Well, that's not entirely true. Oh, wow, I didn't even see your lips move. I've told you, don't talk to Laurel like that. You stay out of this. I am defending my daughter. Just like Jimmy defended his. By grabbing Archie. I didn't hurt him. Well, I haven't checked yet. But if the bruise from last time is anything to go by... That wasn't me! Yeah, well, we've only your word for it. Well, I believe him. We all do. You can't keep denying it. My son is so terrified of you that he ran away. It's your fault, so stay away from him. And if the rest of you have got any sense, you won't let him anywhere near your kids either. He should be locked up. Searching for performers to become the next big superstar group who will impress on the mic and reach the heights of success. Tonight at 8.30, it's The X Factor, The Band, here on ITV. Next, it's Coronation Street. <laughs>